Hi boys and girls. Let's have some fun and draw together. Maybe your parents would even like to join in and anyone else in the household is welcome. This project is recommended for fourth grade. Today we'll be drawing a giraffe and its little baby down here. If you recognize the project, that's okay. Um, we're just here to have some fun. For this project, all you're going to need really is a couple of pieces of paper, maybe a scrap piece of paper for the shapes, a pencil, an eraser. Um, later, if you'd like to color it in with whatever you have at home, if you have crayons, if you have markers, that's great. If you don't want to color it in, that's fine too. I'm going to go ahead and use a marker today so that you can see a little easier on the tape here. So I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper for my shapes. I'm going to start right up here. The first shape is a circle. Go ahead and draw with me anywhere on your piece of paper. Start with a circle. Next one is a circle. We color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. Then we have, remember the name? Horizontal line. Very good. Very good. The next one, does everybody remember what that's called? Vertical. Vertical line. We have one more. See if you can remember that one. Diagonal. Very good. Then we have our half circles. A U, upside down U, a C, and a backward C. Then V. Upside down V looks like a capital A without the crossbar. Sideways V and another sideways V. And then our slightly curved line. Remember, it's not as bent as our upside down U, a rainbow. And it's not as straight as a straight line, so it's slightly curved. Then we have our lazy S, which we actually have right here, if you can see, boys and girls. Okay. And our lazy S, if it's laying down, or it's a hill or a valley, you call it. And then um, it's been fun to do spirals, so let's do some spirals. They make great snails. So once you're done with your shapes, go ahead and get another piece of paper and a pencil, and we're going to start a giraffe. Now remember, boys and girls, before you even start to draw, you have to think about your composition, which means you have to think in your brain, what is this going to look like? What's my end result going to look like? What do I want? Maybe I want more baby giraffes. So think about where to place things as we start. Okay, I am going to start with the big giraffe giraffe right here and remember I'm gonna do the eye the way I like it you certainly can do the eye any way you like remember there's lots of ways to draw different things this is just easiest for me and hopefully for you so I'm gonna start my eye I want to start it pretty high up because it's got a nice long neck that I want to get in okay so I'm gonna start maybe right about here I'm gonna do a slightly curved line for the top of his eye and then I'm going to close that in with a U. Again, you can draw his eye any way you'd like. This, every once in a while, I like to do different ways. Okay. If you want to leave a little white spots in his pupil, you can make a V or a circle. And then go next to it, make a slightly curved line, and darken in everything else but that V or circle, bubble, whatever you've created to bring that highlight into the pupil. You're welcome to do so. So next to the eye, we're going to make a line. It's going to be an angled line. That is the start of his nose. So you decide how long it's going to be. It's going to be just a tad longer, but this is pretty much going to show how long it is going to be. I'm going to do just a very little, like a bump, a little sideways C right there. Backward C. <laughs> and then I'm going to touch that and make just a little angled line in, just a little, and then one horizontal. Okay? Make that a little wider. And I'm going to come back up here and make it this. I might make this a little taller. So I'm not so close to the eye right there. 
Now I'm going to make a little horizontal line over that way. Now let's continue with our mouth. I don't really have it open, but we've talked before about how opening and closing things are easy. If you'd like to make a little long V, his mouth would then be open. I'm going to go ahead and just make another diagonal line, but like I said, if you want it open, you'd make another little diagonal line back down, which is a skinny sideways V, or diagonal V. Then I'm going to touch this. I'm going to continue with a line. And at the end of the line, I'm going to make a little half circle right there. I'm going to touch that half circle, and this is what's going to start the bottom of the chin to the neck. So we kind of want to do a line and then a curve. So right here, I'm going to line back and then curve as I get under his eye. Then I'm just going to wait a minute. I'll go back to that in just a moment. Okay. If you want his nose longer, of course, all these things would be longer if you think it would look better. I'm now going to go into um, our ears, but before we have ears, we have something else. They're made out of cartilage, and we're just going to do a diagonal line for the start of one, another diagonal line, and then it has little hairs on top of that, so a couple of lines for that. And this one's in front. There's one on the other side, so it's not going to be as big and we're not going to see all of it, right? So it might just be one line and then the top of it and those little hairs, okay? So that it looks like it's realistic, we have one on one side, one on the others. Now we still have ears to do. So right here, we're going to do a slightly curved line up, right to about here. You're going to start with another slightly curved line up to close it. Now the same thing, boys and girls, about the ear. This one's in front, we'll see the full ear. The other one, we will not see the full ear. We're gonna start on the ear and it's gonna be smaller because it's on the other side. So right here, a small little curve line is going out and then back to um, where the other ear starts, a curve line is gonna go up to meet it. And now I have two ears. One looks definitely like it's in front of the other. Now we just have to continue with this nice, graceful neck, right? If you're using pencil and sketching, boys and girls, please remember the reason we're using pencil is to erase if there's something you don't like, okay? So that means you have to write or sketch lightly. Don't press hard with your pencil. Okay, I'm going to continue with his wonderful neck. So here I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to start curving. It's a real slight curve that I'm just going to come down with it and down with it and down with it until I feel that it's a really nice graceful neck before I really want to start any kind of body. And then I'm going to continue coming down here. Now notice I do get a little thicker as it comes down to the body. So it's a little thinner here. It does get wider here. So I'm going to hold on to my paper. Let's have our good habits. Hold on to your paper with one hand and draw with your other. Touch right here, and I'm going to go down, down, down. As, as I get lower to being down, I'm going to get just a tad wider. I'm going to bring both of this down just a little bit more. I want a really long, graceful neck. I want to really show off that giraffes are the tallest animals. Also, babies can stand just uh, two days after their birth and run. So that's pretty amazing. So, but I love their neck. So we want to really show that nice, graceful neck. So we've done the neck success, the neck successfully. Um, let's go back. I think I'd like this line a little farther back. So I'm going to do that. Anything else I want to edit or adjust, I can do it this time. I'm pretty good with it. So I'm now going to go on and do the body. Remember I had said the back of this giraffe was um, a lazy S. So depending on how much you have room you have, you're going to start up and then lays down. Okay, it's just the show of his, um, the top of his body. This side, you are going to slightly curve out a little bit, okay, before we make his legs. And now, I'm going to touch this, I'm going to make a diagonal line going out. I'm going to make one more to make it thicker, right? And now the back leg has a little bit of a thigh. So here comes my thigh, slightly curved, 
and then a straight line, and then another straight line. Oh, I made that a little skinny. If I had an eraser, I would erase that, but that's okay. <laughs> it should be a little fatter right here. So go ahead and make this a little, a little wider, okay? So there we have the one giraffe. And now, if you guys are ready, we'll do another. If that's the only giraffe you want to make today, that's okay also. But if you're ready to go on, although if that's the only giraffe you're going to make today, at least do a tree with some leaves so he has something to eat. <laughs> it is Earth Day. We want to be good to our animals. Um, the next one is a little baby giraffe. If you'd like to make baby giraffe, we'll start that right now. Hold on, my, hold on to my paper so it doesn't slip. I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. Notice that they're kind of um, like the football eyes we've spoke about in the past. So here we go. Slightly curved line up and another one. If you'd like to make the eyes round, you know you can do that. Either way is just fine. I'm going to make another one pretty close to the other one. Okay? Two brackets if I want the eyeball. Now I'm going to touch, not the edge of it, almost um, three quarters over into it just a little bit and I'm going to make a diagonal line going up. Touch the same over here, diagonal line going up. I don't want too much of a space there. Now I'm going to make just a tad, a little bitty line and then here comes my two lines for the cartilage, the little hairs just like we did up here. Now these are going to be the same height because we're doing, um, looking at the giraffe front on versus a side view there. So there's another one. Okay, he looks pretty silly right now, I know. But step by step, once we do the ears, I think he'll look a little better. Now the ears, you can do them a little lazy S or just slightly curved out, whatever you think looks better. And it has a little inner ear. All right. Now we want to do the rest of the face. It kind of curves in a little bit here. Oh, my easel is going away. Excuse me. There we go. You see? So right here at the face, we're going to do a very, very slightly curved line in. Very slight. Okay? You decide how long that's going to be. Then you're going to close it in. Not really a V, more a U, but you are going to get narrow. One side, going to make a very oval dot. The other side, another oval dot for his nostrils. If you'd like his little mouth open, you can do a little U right there. Then his neck, right? The start of his neck probably is going to be right about here. Diagonal line. Top of his neck, maybe here. A diagonal line. Remember, they also have a little mane. Not as big as a um, horse would, but they do have some hair there. I didn't do it here. I'm going to let you fill that in. It's getting long, so we want to um, finish this up. We want to talk about the trees. Remember your trees are going to come up. If you want a little branch for your little guy here, when you start your tree, you're going to start it going with a vertical line and then maybe come over with a, a horizontal branch, with a couple of leaves right here, so he has something to nibble. Okay? Then continue up. Wherever you'd like a branch, just stop. Bring out a horizontal line or squiggly or however you'd like to do it. There's another branch, and then continue up. And of course, like I said, make sure you give a branch. To these guys, so they have some leaves to nibble on. Okay, and then however you want to finish it up top. And then the other side. And the other side, you can put more branches. I'm going straight up right now, just... Um, 
save some time. So I hope you understood and followed me step by step on drawing a giraffe today. I hope it was some fun and um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Be safe.